Hi, my name is Maria, and I'm a graduate student at the National Institutes of Health. Just like we have a digestive system that processes what we eat and expels waste, our cells have small sac-like structures called lysosomes that break down substances in the cell, including broken parts of the cell itself. Once digested, these substances can either be disposed of or recycled. When these molecular recycling plants don't work properly, they can lead to various diseases. And one of these diseases is called free silic acid storage disorder, or FSASD for short. In this disease, mutations in a particular gene allow a molecule called silic acid to build up in lysosomes. This silic acid buildup is like a buildup of trash within the lysosomes. The buildup of silic acid impairs brain cells and leads to issues like seizures, intellectual disability, and problems with coordination and movement. To help us study FSASD, our lab has generated a novel mouse model that carries one of the common mutations seen in patients with this disease. The mouse has similar movement problems to human patients, and just like people with this disease, have much less of a protein called myelin, which helps brain cells conduct electrical activity. My lab mates and I are now using this novel mouse model to help us study brain abnormalities in patients with this disease and also to test potential therapies. While FSASD is extremely rare, with about 300 patients worldwide, there are over 40 other diseases caused by problems with lysosomes. While studying FSASD will hopefully allow us to bring treatments for patients suffering with this particular illness, it may also help us with bringing therapies for patients with similar diseases.